friends. Some fun facts about our skeletal system. All of our bones together make up what's called the skeleton. If we didn't have any bones in our body, we would be just soft jelly. But the most important thing about our skeletal system is that it protects our organs. Our rib cage protects our heart and our lungs, and our cranium protects our brain. Let's review some of our vocabulary words from the skeletal system. Go ahead and review some of our key terms from the skeletal system. This might also look familiar if you watched our skeletal system fitness video. Which is part of the skeletal system? The rib cage or the bicep? Which is part of the skeletal system? The lungs or the femur? Next we're going to look at the muscular system. Our muscles help our bones move and they're flexible like a rubber band. They also help us lift heavy things. Let's review some of our key terms from our muscular system. This might look familiar from our muscular system fitness video, so take a second to review some of our key vocabulary terms for our muscular system. Which is part of the muscular system? The cranium or the abdominals or abs? Which is part of the muscular system? The pelvis or the quadriceps or quads? we're going to look at our cardiovascular system. Our cardiovascular system involves things like our blood, our heart, our arteries and veins, and our lungs. Now, some key takeaways is that cardio means heart. Anytime you see the word cardio in anything, it involves our heart. Our arteries and our veins are kind of like tunnels where the blood travels through. Now, arteries move blood away from the heart, and veins move the blood back to the heart. They're a one-way system. Now, our lungs bring in oxygen to our body, and then our blood gets pumped up to pick up oxygen, and then they deliver oxygen all throughout our body. Let's take a closer look at our circulatory system. So, though there are plenty of more key terms in our circulatory system, these are the ones I want us to remember. Blood is a main component of our circulatory system because it passes through our whole body. Now our heart is responsible for pumping the blood and our lungs bring in oxygen, which our blood picks up and delivers to our whole body. So our arteries carries the oxygenated blood away and gives it to our body and to our organs. And then our veins carries that blood back to our heart to be pumped back up to pick up some more oxygen. Which is part of the cardiovascular system? The stomach or the heart? Which is part of the cardiovascular system? 
the blood, or saliva. Next, we're going to look at the respiratory system. The respiratory system's job is to bring oxygen into the body and then get rid of carbon dioxide. So, as we breathe in through our nose or mouth, we breathe in oxygen, which gets delivered to our blood and the rest of our body, and then we exhale carbon dioxide, which is a waste product. This is how uh, we bring oxygen in so that the blood can deliver it to our, the rest of our body. Let's take a look at some vocabulary from the respiratory system. Now, again, there are a ton of vocabulary words for a respiratory system, but let's just focus on the words that are highlighted in green. We have our nose and our mouth, which are two ways that we bring oxygen into our body. When we breathe in, the air goes through and down through our trachea, or our windpipe. From there, it goes into our lungs. Now notice, we have two lungs, a right lung and a left lung. Fun fact, our right lung is bigger than our left lung. That's because the heart is right here next to the left lung. So there needs to be room for it there to be. Which is part of the respiratory system? Lungs or hamstring? Which is part of the respiratory system? The nose or the ears? Next, let's take a look at the digestive system. The digestive system is responsible for breaking down food in the body. It begins in our mouth with saliva, and the stomach is the superhero. Let's take a look at some digestive system anatomy. Now, again, there are a ton of vocabulary words for the digestive system, but let's just look at the ones highlighted in green. The oral cavity involves our mouth and our tongue. That's what helps us swallow our food to go down through our esophagus. Now, don't confuse our esophagus for the trachea. Esophagus is where food goes down, and the trachea is what we use to bring air or oxygen into our body. From there, our food goes into our stomach. The stomach has super strong acids in here that break down the food and actually help fight off some bad germs and stuff that get into our body. That's why it's the superhero. From there, our food was into our small intestine. This is where stuff gets absorbed, like our good nutrients from our food, um, gets absorbed and goes into the rest of our body. From there, the food will go into the large intestine, making its way all the way down and out our body. Which is part of the digestive system? The ears or the mouth? Which is part of the digestive system? Saliva or sweat? let's take a look at our nervous system. Our nervous system is the boss of our body. It sends signals throughout our body. I like to think of a puppet. The puppy is being controlled with strings by the hand holding that little tool up on top. We can think of the hand or that tool up on top as the brain and the strings as our nerves. 
Now the brain sends signals down our spinal cord to our nerves. Let's take a look at the nervous system anatomy. Now, there are a ton of vocabulary words for the nervous system, but let's just look at these few. The nervous system is in charge of our senses. That's to see, to hear, to smell, to feel, and to taste. Most important parts of our nervous system are our brain, which sends signals down our spinal cord and out to our nerves to help our body move. Not only does it send signals out to our body to move, but especially with our senses, like if we touch something hot, signals get sent back up to the brain so that we can move our hand out of the way if something is too hot. Which is part of the nervous system? Hair or brain? Which is part of the nervous system? Veins or nerves? review. We've gone over our skeletal system, which involves our bones, our muscular system, which involves all the muscles of our body, the cardiovascular system, that involves the heart, the arteries, the veins, and blood, the respiratory system, that involves our lungs, and oxygen, the digestive system, which is how we break down food in the body, and involved our stomach. And then the nervous system, which involved our brain and our nerves. Which is part of the skeletal system? The humerus or the deltoid? Which is part of the digestive system, the intestines or the trachea? Which is part of the muscular system, the pelvis or the hamstring? Which is part of our nervous system, the spinal cord or the heart? Which is part of the cardiovascular system, the veins or the bronchioles? Which is part of the respiratory system, oxygen or helium? Before we leave, let's reflect on what we've learned. Now, you can just think about it, or you can leave me a comment. What was your favorite body system? 
and what'd you learn about it today?